Yo, what up, bros? Welcome to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video. I'm the director. We're gonna be talking about uh, this this thing right here, uh, house rules. When I first looked at him, I was like, man, I don't got no time to be playing 25 games, getting 25 wins. Uh, but upon second inspection, the uh, rewards are actually not too bad. You're getting uh, Super Bowl tickets at 5, 10, and 15 wins. And then if you go a little bit further, getting yourself some trophies and coinage as well but i want to be prepared before going into these house rules and i'll kind of give you guys a, a method on how these house rules become a little bit easier because of the restrictions they're putting on the rules so a lot of you already know that the rules and house rules for this week is going to be uh, like a cap like a limit on the plays that you can select so if you go like tampa 2 you can only select that like one or two more times and it forces you to wait like four plays before selecting it again the same could be said on offense a lot of people I mean, a lot of people rely on the stretch out of the same two, maybe three formations tops. And when they're out of their element, seem to panic a little bit and cluck around. So we're going to see if we can take advantage of that in these house rules. Quick lineup update. You guys saw my lineup a couple of, uh, maybe like a week ago in our last gameplay video. The only difference being is we moved Tory Holt to the slot and we got Julio Jones out there at number two. I figured I want another big receiver out on the outside. The defense, I thought it was time, dudes. Me and Trump Monkey were doing them up for us this morning and it just kept getting reiterated and reiterated how much of a game changer Sean Taylor is. So I decided to pick up Sean Taylor. And you know what? We got to represent the, uh, the Polynesian community. We got Troy Polamalu still on the roster. He has replaced Pat Tillman. And then last but not least, we took one of our free Mel Renfros, powered him up all the way to a 98 overall, and he's pretty disgusting. Now, the reason I uh, decided to go out and get a new wide receiver is because I knew that in these house rules, it's going to be mainly one in the passing game. And a lot of people don't either don't know how to pass, don't pass at all, or and are probably pretty bad defending the pass, if we're going to be honest. A protected, which is going to give you a little bit of extra time in the pocket. If you're going to be passing, you don't want to get thumped every single time. And last but not least, Hot Route Master. This is the most important ability, in my opinion, when it comes to these house rules. Don't get me wrong, you can still win with a mobile quarterback, maybe an improviser quarterback with like playmaker and stuff. But in my humble opinion, this is the D's knees, bro. I'm a pocket passing quarterback, so I may be biased. But what this ability allows you to do is stay in a formation that you're comfortable with and just create your own routes and plays, get guys open, read the coverage and decide who needs to be where at what time in order to get the first down, possibly the touchdown. That's what I'm gonna display today in this gameplay uh, of Madden Ultimate Team 20. So let's just jump into these house rules, enough explanation. Let's see how this uh, hot route master comes into effect. All right, here we go, there's our top three. His top three, Steve Young, Luke Keekley, Terrell Owens, 99s across the board. Why is it every time I do a gameplay, it's 99s across the board? We ain't scared though, bro. We're coming out here with Mel Renfro. I'm gonna get popped and we're gonna fumble the ball and it's going to be a very bad start to this game. Please, no, no. And we're down three. Okay, let's try this again back on offense. See if we can just get somebody open. There's Antonio Gates once again. No. Boom, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's, <laughs> he's gonna test it. That should be mine and no interception. Okay. All right, after a short stint on defense, we're back on offense. Wow, we should have be wide open. There we go, Julio Jones. Gonna drop it. First valuable lesson to house rules. If you're getting RNG'd, get the hell out of there, dudes. Move on to another game. You don't wanna make this as quick and painless as possible. That was pretty painful up my rectum. All right, take two at house rules. Hopefully we don't get stomped this time. Uh, there's our top three, his top three, 98, 98, 97. Actually a pretty beastly squad. We're gonna have to be ready for anything. Ooh, there goes Mel Renfro. Oh, we're gonna get down to the 45 yard line. That couldn't have been more perfect if I had planned it because now we got a secret weapon in uh, Randy Moss with the Moss X Factor. If we can get the timing right, this should be a one play touchdown. So I'm coming out in strong H wing. We're just gonna block everybody and send Moss over the top and Randy Moss should be able to get this. That is a touchdown The Chargers. Literally exactly where it needed to be for a one play TD. Let's go. All right, third and eight. We just need one more stop. I decided to man up on his halfback this time in case he tries that hitch route nonsense. And so far so good. Just gonna make sure he doesn't get the pass off. Thank you, LT. Lawrence Taylor gets the sack. And that's gonna be a rage quit just like that. Mm. 
All right, game number three, here we go. Hopefully not a list of 99s again. 98, 98, 98, okay. I think we can deal with that. Well, here we go, he's gonna try and hit that corner route once again. This time we're right there, and we should get the pick. We do! And we're gonna start taking this sucker back. Ah, oh, come on, Taylor. We're gonna start on the 18 yard line. All right, here's the play art. Again, one of my favorite plays because they're gonna either bite on A or bite on RB, so that's an automatic five yards if we can get him to bite. See, right there, we got Antonio Gates. He's got the mismatch with the linebacker. That's 12 yards. Here's the player right there. Same formation. We like this formation. Let's see if we can get somebody open. It should be Antonio Gates again. Who came up with it? It's, it's a glitch. Woo, I didn't even see that guy there. When in doubt, crossers. And this is why we got Julio Jones. Let's see which one he's going to bite on. And it's going to be X. So we're going to go to A. And that is <laughs> Julio Jones, man. Diving catch. That's a first down. And as you can see, I really don't have to leave this formation if I don't want to. And right now, I do not want to. He's gonna bite on Antonio Gates. We're gonna take Holt and get close to another first down. You see here, oh no, we don't have any plays. Just kidding, I have Hot Route Master. So we're just gonna come out in verticals and create a play of our own. Ah, uh, it's going to get the first down. <laughs> Gonna stay in this formation, try and maybe hit the outside. No, he wants us to stay inside. So we're gonna go Julio Jones underneath, Antonio Gates over the top on that Texas route, and see if we can get lucky to Antonio Gates, which he's gonna be wide open, dude. Antonio Gates is gonna drop the ball, and that's not gonna work. Well, no guts, no glory. We're gonna go for it, and we're gonna hit Y for the touchdown. That's Torrey Holt, and that is a Bolts TD. And just like that, another rage quit. The hot route master coming into effect. Now, one more thing before we wrap up a little bit of the tips with the hot route master. Let's say you're up close to the line of scrimmage. You know, you've got yourself like three yards for the first down. Go ahead and put that corner route in there and then click on that receiver with the corner route and hit RB to smart route it. And that's gonna make that cut a lot quicker. He's gonna get open half the time. And that's what you just saw with that Torrey Holt touchdown. But wait, this video is not over yet, dudes. I'm gonna show you how you can make a ton of coins off of doing these house rules. You've mastered how they work. Let's see how we can get some coinage in our pockets. The goal here is gonna try and get one of these Tyreek heels on the cheap. 600,000 coins is what he's going for right now, which is quite the reward if you go ahead and do this method. However, it is not a guarantee that you'll get Tyreek Hill. You could end up getting Richard Sherman. It all depends on who you get for your house rules free item, which does go into the set. Pretty sure you know where I'm going with this. But Tyreek Hill going for 600K, Richard Sherman going for 500K. Step one in making some coinage off of house rules and the Super Bowl promo, you're gonna wanna go over to your solo, Super Bowl solos. The goal with the solos is to grind at least three tickets. So it's gonna be what, like 84 stars? Really not too bad. Maybe it takes you half an hour, 45 minutes, right? The house rules are gonna provide three additional tickets for a grand total of six, which you earn at five wins, 10 wins, and 15 wins. So six tickets is the goal. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is it's time for house rules. You're gonna have to get on head to head and win 25 of these games. Actually, not as bad as it sounds, especially if you follow some of my tips and tricks on how to dominate with the pass, especially with a hot route master quarterback. Not required, but definitely helps. Grind out those 25 wins. It's gonna give you a single nat player. You don't get to choose. It's not from a fantasy pack. This is gonna determine what you do from here on out. Let's say you grind out all these games and it lands you a DeForest Buckner. What that's gonna force you to do is go after Richard Sherman. So boom, you've got the Forrest Buckner from the house rules. He does go into sets. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the ticket section of the Super Bowl. Take those six tickets that you accumulated, put them in this set. It's going to give you your choice, your choice of Super Bowl present players. So in the example of pulling the Forrest Buckner, you're gonna choose either use check or Mostert, uh, get that card net and put it into this set. The last thing you would need to do is go buy one of these guys. So in this case, let's say we still need Kyle Juszczyk. We're gonna go purchase him for 342,000 coins to complete the set. The beautiful thing about this set is Richard Sherman, let's say you don't need him on your team. Maybe you do want him on your team and this is a cheap way to acquire him. Uh, you can go ahead and sell Richard Sherman going currently for 500,000 coins. Boom, right there, you've already made a profit. But the other thing great about this set is that it's going to give you back all of these players net. I don't think I have to go much further with this, dude. You take those players you got net, they're worth half of their training. You're gonna quick sell at least two of them and that'll be enough to go do one of the 95 overall sets in the store. Pull that, you're gonna be able to sell it for an additional three, 400,000 coins. That should be a grand total if you pull 
uh, Richard Sherman of 900,000 coins you're getting from doing this set. You subtract the 350,000 coins that you had to purchase Kyle Yu's check for, that's still really nasty. 550,000 coins in pocket and you get to keep one of these gnats let's say you really want you know kyle use check you want to keep that fullback go ahead and quick sell raheem mostert and deforest buckner or in my case i want deforest buckner i'll go ahead and keep him and quick sell raheem mostert and kyle use check think of that guys five hundred fifty thousand coins is pretty much the reward plus a nat 95 or 96 overall card if you do it in this proper order and it gets even better than that let's say you actually pull one of these chiefs players instead let's say you get done with the house rules and you get a chris jones you're like crap i don't want chris jones no one likes chris jones you will like chris jones because he goes into this set go ahead and do all your tickets again grab a mitchell schwartz and then go purchase a sammy watkins to finish the set and that leaves you with a six hundred thousand coin Tyreek Hill. Quick sell two of these guys that you don't want. I would probably keep Chris Jones. He's very good and very underrated. Mitchell Schwartz, a 96 overall right tackle. Or you could quick sell all three for all I care and then pull as many packs as you can, pocketing as many coins as you can. You guys starting to feel me? For me personally, I'm hoping to pull a 49er out of this set because I want DeForest Buckner for my team and getting him for free is a good deal, plus 550,000 coins. And trust me when I say the house rules are actually a lot of fun in this promo. Uh, I've, I've only been playing for maybe 45 minutes and already racked up seven wins. It's pretty nice, especially if you can get like a one play touchdown or a shutdown the first uh, drive against your opponent. They might just rage quit, which I've experienced quite a bit already. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys made out like bandits, got yourself a crisp half a million coins. I'm currently sitting at 4.5 million. So once I finish this, I should be back up into the 5 million range. And when people ask me, Siege, how do you have so many coins? It's because of stuff like this. I just kind of pay attention to what's going on in the game, what sort of exploits I can do as far as making coins and just execute, just pay attention, watch some videos on YouTube, myself included, and uh, take advantage of whatever you can get when it comes to making coins without spending any money. I would do this soon though, because as more people understand you can make coin off of doing that set, uh, you're gonna see a lot more Tyree kills and uh, Richard Sherman's on the block, which is gonna bring their price down a little bit. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hit us up with a like and sub, man, if this helps you out, if you're sitting here like, oh my God, I had no idea I could be 500K richer, go ahead and let, give us a sub, hit the little bell notification, help this channel grow. I'm excited to see where we go into Madden 20, Madden 21 as well. And uh, you guys, you, you come along for the ride and help out the creator, man. Really appreciate everything you guys do for the channel. Uh, this has been the director. As always, bros, thanks again and stay frosty. Last chance, fourth and long, finding the will to bolt up. Bundle up, cause you know we stay frosty. I take my frosty chocolate vanilla or swirl. Mutt master YouTuber, come on, let's give it a whirl. Mutt Madden Twitch streamer, put the snowman to shame. Staying frosty is the only way we stay alive in this game. They're reffing the match, directors directing the game. Scared of my underdog team, you know them gods will be slain. Stay frosty.